continuing on, part three, with uh, coded messages written in president's speeches, which are esoteric by nature and Freemasonic. Later, when some in the public were taking courage that the midterm backlash of November 2006 had sufficiently restrained the administration's dream, dreams of playing a vital role in initiating Armageddon, behind the scenes in Washington, D.C., this influential group of powerful men retained faith in their paranormal forces, setting their eyes on the time frame of 2009 to 2012, Obama's first term. They were not for the moment concerned if Congress or even the executive branch changed hands now and then. Wow, isn't that interesting? Not concerned with Congress or even the executive branch changing hands now and then because Democrat and Republican, one and the same. There is no difference, ultimately. They had received what they wanted, official invitation to supernaturalism by the nation's leaders, Bush and Bush Sr., and for su sufficient time, conformity by the majority of uninitiated Americans or uninitiated Australians or any other country where people are ignorant to the real things that are going down, the unseen forces, the Freemasonic order. An angel from the whirlwind spread its powerful wings and a new epoch in American history was ushered in. A time when the government of the US was intentionally brought under influence to dark angelic power. The statement above may seem daring, but the connection between the president's speeches signals to the family of spiritual advisors, as well as to the leaders of the craft, the Bush's administration's subsequent actions and uh, coalescence of Congress, and for a, a while the majority of Americans, set in motion the rules of cosmic gameplay, as defined in the sacred texts of all major religions. Right, so this is interfaith. This is the big thing that's going on in the world today through from America specifically is interfaith, including the Bible. So let me read that again in context. This set in motion the rules for cosmic gameplay as defined in the sacred texts of all major religions, including the Bible. But that would be compromising the Bible if you include the Bible into that. Invitation to angels by elected officials combined with... Passive civili civilian conformity, ho ho! Passive civilian conformity is key to opening doorways for supernatural agents to engage social governance. Do I need to explain that? No, I don't. I shouldn't. This is a classic tenet of demonology. Spirits go where they are invited whether to possess an individual or to take dominion over a region. That's why. That movie, Fallen, with Denzel Washington, wow, I haven't even done a breakdown of it because I've posted information in regards to the release dates to 9-11, no one gives a damn, no one, no one recognizes it, and that movie, brother, just, just revealed who the Antichrist is back in 1998 or 1999, I think it was 1998 when it was released, okay. Let me just read that again, because we're just about finished here in this chapter, the chapter I wanted to read. I'll go back. The statement above may seem daring, but the connection between the president's speeches signals to the family of spiritual advisors, as well as to leaders of the craft, which is the Freemasonic Order, the Bush administration's subsequent actions. This can also be talked about with Trump and his speech for the victims of the, the massacre in, in Las Vegas and coalescence of Congress, and for a while the majority of Americans, set in motion the rules for cosmic gameplay as defined in the sacred text of all major religions, including the Bible. Invitation to angels by elected officials combined with passive civilian conformity is key to opening doorways for supernatural agents to engage social governance. This is the classic tenet of demonology. Spirits go where they are invited, whether to possess or an individual, this is what Fallen is. It shows you, well, hidden stuff in there, concealed, revealed. Whether to, dis to possess an individual or to take dominion over a region, one could contend, therefore, that starting in 2001, the United States became so disposed in following and not challenging unprecedented changes to a long long-standing long US policies, including the Christian rules for just war, 
Well, that's was that was what Obama's speech was for his acceptance speech for Nobel Peace Prize was rules for a just war. That a powerful force known to the Illuminati as the Mariah Conquering Wind, aka aka the Angel in the World Wind, Bush's reference back in two thousand one, inauguration day, accepted the administration's invitation and enthroned itself in the nation's capital. The angel in the whirlwind, the Mariah conquering wind, the Illuminati, enthroned itself in the nation's capital. Immediately after, it cast its eyes on the ancient home of Babylon, where the coveted gate of the... Now I'd have to research this myself. Ili, which is Babylon, had opened once before. Well, so taking all that into context, please do not be duped by Trump and his little charade pretending to be a Christian when really he upholds the Freemasonic order and he is controlled by larger, greater forces than himself. And he's told what to do at the end of the day. And this is all about the continuation of globalism a new phase, and uh, there's much deception out there. So, if you don't read, you won't know much. You just, you, if you don't read, you the read the right books for starters too. You will not be educated, and if you just believe and go to church on Sunday and believe everything that's told you from the pulpit, if they don't talk about stuff like this, and it's just a seeker-friendly prosperity movement give me all your money church then you're going to be going to be caught out all right thanks for listening everybody